Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? How is it going? Fine. Mm, you're fine? Fine. <laughs> Excellent. It's really nice to hear that. Okay. Let me see. Let's wait at least one minute so you, your classmates can come. They can join this class and we can start. Bien, ¿Sí? aquí vamos. Solo tengo, ok, just give me one second. Tiene cinco. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. See? Double comedy. Double comedy. Double comedy. Double comedy. Double comedy. Double comedy. Okay, it's one o'clock already. Hello class, it's really nice to see you. Guadalupe, Alberto, Gabi, Jorge no lo veo por ahí, but he's already there. Okay, how was your weekend? Was it good? Tell me. In simple words, simple sentences, how was your weekend? What did you do? What did you do? Let's practice right now. Speaking practice right now. What did you do? Mm -hmm. Alberto and then Lupita. What did you do during your weekend? In the weekend, I practiced football with my friend. Okay, practice or practiced? Practice. Ah, very good. You practiced or you played soccer or football? Soccer. Okay, mm -hmm. soccer with your friends. Excellent. What else? ¿Qué más hizo? Mm, I visited my father's, my parents. Oh, you visited your parents. Where do they live? In La Laguna, Chalatenango. Really, Chalatenango. So you went to Chalatenango. Yes. Oh, very good job. You went to Chalatenango. In your case, Lupita, what did you do? I visit my family in oh. Huizúcar. Okay, you visit or visit it? Visit it. Ah, I visited my family where? On uh, Saturday. On Saturday. Where do they Saturday. live? Where um, do they live? Wisukar. Wisukar. Ah, Wisukar. okay. You visited mm -hmm. your family in Wisukar. What else? ¿Qué más hizo? What else did you do? Um, uh, cook. 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 Very good. I cooked. I cooked. You cooked. Very good. You cooked. Mm -hmm. That's it. Very good job. Gaby, what did you do? I want to. San Miguel. Really? You went to San Miguel? Yes, the grandmother of my best friend died. Really? She passed away. Yes. She died. Wow, that's so sad, you know? But you had the time to go, and that's so nice. Yes. What What else did you do, Gary? Okay, just think. That's it. Solo eso. That's it. Yes. Okay, interesting. <laughs> In your case, Elenilson, <clears throat> what did you do last weekend? What did you do? See, he's not there. Probably Elenilson, what did you do during your weekend? Ahora yo. Yes. What did you do? I had to. <laughs> Celebrate. 
you have to celebrate. Oh, really? To, to celebration, parties. to parties. What kind of parties did you have? Birthday. A birthday. Oh. Okay, with your family. The first or one, uh, the Saturday. It was on Saturday, very good. And the second last, yesterday. It was yesterday, okay. So it was a weekend full of parties. Yes, I ate too much. Really, you ate too much. Was the food delicious or not? So delicious. It was delicious. Very porky. good job. Really, <clears throat> turkey. No, okay. porky. Cerdito. Porky, how do you spell ah, cerdito? Oh, no. But at least you ate delicious. Very good job. Glenda, yes. what did you do during the weekend? Hi, teacher. Hello, Glenda. Um, every Saturday, Saturday I go to train at the Parque Bicentenario. Okay. Um, on Sunday I also went to San Ignacio Chalatenango as a volunteer for a competition. Really? Yes. So this last Saturday was not deception. Sábado no fue la excepción. You went to Parque Bicentenario, and on Sunday you went to Chalatenango, you said. Sí. Okay. Todos los sábados corro en el Bicentenario. Every Todos Saturday. Los sábados. Wow. Interesting. So, you are a girl who is in shape, who is in a good shape, ¿está? En una buena figura, condición de salud también impecable. Excellent. Yes. yes. Who is missing? Jorge, right? Jorge. What did you do? What did you do last weekend? If he's not there, we are going to ask Ellen Nilsson and Jorge later on. In my case, uh, on, when was it? Yes, on Friday, no, last Saturday, I went to Perkin because I have uh, some relatives living there. And yesterday I came back in the afternoon. So I stayed there just one day. You know, I went to visit my family in Perkin and it was it was pretty good, you know? So why am I asking you about this? ¿Por qué les pregunto qué hicieron? What did you do? Because one of the topics that we are going to cover today is going to be a review of the simple past, pero lo vamos a hacer en una forma diferente. Simple past, regular, and irregular verbs. But those topics are going to be like the second part of the class. We are going to come back, we are going to refresh our mind, and whenever it comes to talking about wishes in the present. ¿Se acuerdan de ese tema? Wishes in the present. ¿Cómo? Expreso deseos en el presente. How do I do that? In the case that you don't remember, let me present the activities that we are going to be covering today. Vamos a hacer un repaso. Expressing wishes for the present. ¿Qué tipo de verbos ocupamos para expresar Teacher. deseos en el pasado? Sorry, este, Josué y Yanni no se pueden conectar. Les está dando el mismo problema de la vez pasada. Really? Um, Quiero ver qué solución me habrán dado. Déjenme revisar mi chat, no lo he revisado ahorita. Ok, here we go. No sé si han revisado. Bueno revisarles. Si han, eh, si tienen alguna actualización pendiente de Zoom. No. Es, teacher, uh -huh. es que los manda un enlace a una página web, de ahí le da a abrir y lo mismo, no, este, ¿cómo se llama? No le da habilita. Vaya, porque estaba viendo que, bueno, en la clase de, de viernes de la tarde, me dijeron que si pedía alguna actualización, Zoom, que la hicieran. Y se supone que luego de eso ya no iba a generar problemas. Pero no sé si en su caso han buscado alguna actualización pendiente. Y de igual manera, si ingresaban con el ID y con la contraseña, pero me imagino que tampoco funciona. 
And let me see. Sí, ya no tengo más actualizaciones de parte de soporte técnico. Son las que nos indicaron el viernes, sábado en la mañana. I don't know why. Ok, bueno. Let's see. Tal vez se pueden unir. Ahí está I veo Jani. Let me see. Ok, making wishes in the present is not that difficult. No es tan difícil cuando nosotros expresamos pues deseos en el presente. Remember, whenever we want to make those type of sentences, it is when we want things to be different in the present. Cuando quiero que las cosas o desearía que las cosas fuesen diferentes cuando en el presente ocupo wish, in this case I wish, más el presente, las cosas que vamos a hacer en el presente. Ok, so take a look at the first activity that I have here. We are going to complete some sentences. And the first one, la primera que me parece es Lupita. Veamos Lupita, the first one. It's going to be for, ok. Here we go. Number one, I wish more. I wish more time. What is the correct form in order to express this wish in the present? I wish I has, I wish I have, or I wish I have. Lupita. En presente, dijo. Ajá, expresando deseos que deseamos que sucedan en el presente. Que, suce, que nos sucedan a nosotros. Mm -hmm, yes. What is the correct form? Permítame. I wish I has, I wish I have, or I wish I had more time. Okay. I wish I have a trip around the world. Ok, nada, no, Lupita, mira la pantalla, la primera eh, Solo tengo que, que leer. Uh -huh. Completar con las tres opciones, cualquiera de las tres. I wish I had more time. Have or had? Uh, have. In the present or in the past? In the present. In the present. ¿Qué opinan, chicos? What is your opinion? Let me see. Have, dice. Not really. Mm. ¿Qué verbo ocupamos? Ocupamos verbos en el pasado simple. Muy bien. Mm. Don't worry. Ya volvemos con usted nuevamente. Second one. El de Nilsson, ¿qué opina? I wish in Europe. I wish lived in Europe. Live, live, live. Or lived. Live it. This one, the one in blue, right? I wish I lived. Okay, let me see if I can. I wish I lived in Europe. Entonces, ¿qué significa? ¿Cuál hello, es hello, hello. Ahorita? Hello, Jose. I wish I lived. That's okay. Significa que no vivimos en Europa ahorita. There we go. Let me see. Alberto, continue. And then Gaby. Okay. Uh, where? I wish you were here with me. ¿Por qué no usamos was, Alberto? Because in the use wish done with. No, yeah. es por, el, por la persona. Porque es plural. Uh, not really. Vaya, le voy a aclarar, ¿se acuerdan? Pero Cuando estamos. Son... Yes, whenever we are expressing wishes. Cuando expresamos deseos en el presente. No olviden eso, presente, no en el pasado, no en el futuro. Whenever I am making wishes in the present or for the present, the verb to be is going to be where. Nunca va a ser was. I wish you were here with me. Desearía que estuvieras aquí conmigo. That's why. ¿Cómo sería ahí? I wish you were... You Desearía were, que estuvieras conmigo. Estuvieras, estuvieras. Solo pasamos el verbo en el, usamos el verbo en el pasado. Sí, nunca va a ser was. Siempre va a ser where. No importa el sujeto que tenga. I, you, 
he, she, it, we, and the they. Solo con deseos que deseamos que sucedan en el presente. Ahí sí. Si ya estoy deseando que algo hubiese pasado o que algo suceda en el futuro, ahí el verbo sí. Se tiene que conjugar con was or where. Depende del sujeto. Pero acá miren, I wish you were here with me. ¿Para cuándo deseamos que pase esta acción? Deseo. Para el presente. Para el presente. No estoy diciendo Gracias. desearía, deseo que tú estuvieras, estuvieses aquí conmigo. There we go. Gaby, go ahead, please. I hate cars. I wish I fly. What is the correct form of the verb? ¿Y cuál sería el verbo que vamos a elegir? Mm, cool. Cool. What is the present of cold? ¿Cuál es el presente de cold? Can. Can, exactly. So this is the past of can. <coughs> I hate cars. I wish I could fly. There we go. That's right. Jorge, this is for you. It says, I miss you so much. I wish I had time machined. What is the correct form? Drive, have, or have. Jorge. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe have. Maybe have. Why maybe? <laughs> Because it, the verb is in, uh, in past. In past, muy bien. Entonces, 100% seguro. Not maybe, yes. yes. It has. Because have is in the present and drive. No tiene nada que ver con mi expresión. That, that's okay. I miss you so much. I wish I had a time machine. Okay, this one is for Janira. Y luego sigue Josué y luego Rita. Oh, Janira. She wishes. Mm, she wishes she at home, not at the office. Uh, she was. Okay. Why was and not where? Por qué was, Janira? Uh, because uh, the three person. Ah, because of the third person. But third look at the expression. Person. She wishes she was at home, not at the office. What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa en dónde está esta persona? Right now? How long is that? Um, not in my casa. Será que ya está en casa ahorita o en la oficina? At home, not at the office. Um, one moment, teacher. Please. Okay, don't worry. Relax. Relax. Don't worry. Take your time. Um, <clears throat> In a casa, at home. At Clase, home. ¿Qué opinan? What is your opinion, class? Where is she at this moment? ¿En dónde está esta persona en el momento? At uh, home or office. at the office? In the office. In the uh -huh. office. Vaya, esa es nuestra realidad. ¿Y qué está diciendo ella, Yanira? What is she wishing? Um, que ella desearía estar en la casa y no en la oficina. Ah, muy bien. ¿Y cuándo quiere ella que pase eso? ¿En el futuro, en el pasado, en el presente? A presente. Ah, entonces, ¿qué usamos? ¿Qué uh, where? Usan? Where, exactly. It's not was. Sería entonces. It's where. I wish, she wishes she were. That's why. There we go. Okay, next one. Who was next? 
¿A quién le dije el siguiente? I don't remember. Josué, right? Josué, and then Rita. You wish you go back and tell him that you love him. Okay, si no, Rita, si está por ahí, Rita, go ahead, please. This is your time to participate. You wish you um, can cool I teach or en, Entre tarde a la clase. En, es sustituir el auxiliar. Vaya. Esto es hacer deseos en el presente, lo que vimos la semana pasada. You wish you... Uh -huh. Tenemos que usar el verbo en qué forma, clase. En presente, en pasado, o cómo pasado. lo usamos. ¿Quién le ayuda? Pasado. En pasado. En pasado. Entonces, ¿qué you... verbo vamos a usar? Could. Ok. ¿Y cuál es el presente de cool, Rita? Can. Can. There we go. So, cool is the past of can. You wish you could go back and tell him that you love him. Okay. That's right. How about this one? Glenda. And then I have Samuel. Glenda, what is your opinion about this one? I wish I were so obsessive I had that about me. Okay, I wish I were so obsessive. I hate that about me. ¿Qué opinan clase? I wish I were or weren't. Were? That makes sense. If that makes sense. ¿Qué opinan? No, sería I wish I weren't. Ah, ¿qué nos está no, diciendo entonces? ¿Será que deseamos ser demasiado obsesivos o deseamos no ser obsesivos? What is your opinion? No, no ah, ser. No ser. So, Glenda, what is the correct form? Were or weren't? Desearía no ser. I wish I weren't so obsessive. I hate that about me. Odio eso sobre mí. Me gusta eso sobre mí. That's it. Very good job. Let me see, Samuel. This is for you. I wish I a new job. I wish I uh, have a new job. Okay. Have or had? Have. This one? Yes, yes, yes. No. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál es el presente del verbo have? Mm. ¿O será este el presente? No, el presente. ¿Cuál es el pasado de have? ¿Cuál es el past? Ah, muy bien. Entonces, sí, it's not this one. I had a new job. I wish I had a new job. That's it. Recuerden, va en pasado el verbo. Uh, ¿Quién me falta? Who is missing? Ivania. Go ahead, please. And then Gustavo. This is for you, Ivania. She wishes she known, knew, or know. What is the correct form of the verb? <laughs> she wishes she um, she wishes she I don't know how to pronounce it. New. Which one? No. 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 This one? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. She wishes she knew. And what is the present of this verb? New. No. 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 no, muy bien, aquí lo tengo en presente. How about this one? Known. ¿En qué tiempo está este? Known. Mm. Es el pasado participio. Past participio. Yes. That's right. 
How about this one? Gustavo, are you there? Jim wishes she to cook. Ah, miren, él está deseando sobre alguien más. Que alguien más hiciera algo. Jim wishes she to likes. cook. Like. Likes, liked mm -hmm. or like? Likes to cook. This one. Are you sure? ¿Cuál es el pasado de likes? Y de. Exactly. Y de at the end. So this is the present with the third person. So Jim wishes she liked to cook. Él desea que ella le gustara o que a ella le gustase cocinar. Wow. And that's it. Number 12, cualquiera de la clase. I wish I the next president. Word. Okay, I wish I were the next president of El Salvador. How about you? Do you have the same wish? Not right. I wish I were the next president. Okay, and I still have two more. I wish I a salary raise, un aumento de salario. So what is the correct one? Well, which is the correct one? I'm sorry. Hi. I wish I had. Is that your wish? I wish I had a salary raise. In my case, yes. It's, I wish I had a salary raise <laughs> right now. And the last one, la última. I wish I, okay, once again, it's the same one. So let me pick this one I had. And that's it. Okay. 13 de 14. Dígame. Hola, que no me quedó muy claro fue que dijo que vamos a usar siempre el word con todos. Vaya, como les dije, si... Sí, ¿por qué? Les repito por qué, vaya en español. Cuando estamos deseando que algo pase en el presente o que la situación cambie, cambie en el presente, siempre va a ser utilizado where, que es la forma del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Pero si ya yo deseo que algo hubiese pasado en el pasado, obviamente, o que algo suceda en el futuro, ya son tiempos diferentes. Ahí sí tengo que conjugar el verbo was o where de acuerdo a el sujeto, pero cuando los deseos eh, queremos que pasen en el presente o que algo cambie en el presente, siempre va a ser where. Es simplemente parte de la gramática o parte del uso de los deseos en el presente. No sé si quedó claro. Yes. Porque si ya quisiéramos que algo hubiese pasado ayer o en tiempo anterior, ya no se llaman wishes, se llaman Regrets, regrets, que nos estamos lamentando que algo no pasó en el pasado. Ya no, ya no se llama así esa estructura en inglés, sino que regrets, que me estoy arrepintiendo que algo no pasó o que algo no hice. Y si los estoy, eh, bueno, si deseo que algo pase en el futuro, siempre se llaman wishes, pero se tiene que establecer que son para el futuro o aclarar que son para cosas que pasen en el futuro. Ok. So that's it. Wishes in the present. ¿Cómo les queda este tema? Claro, necesitan un poco más de práctica. Este es un repaso. Esta clase es casi solo repasos. Ok. Reviews about the topic. ¿Qué forma del verbo vamos a ocupar? El presente. Perdón, el pasado qué? Pasado simple, de simple past. Identifiquen el verbo y lo tienen que cambiar al simple past. Y ahí estaríamos ya bien con la estructura. Vamos a ver si quedó claro. Tengo nueve preguntas más. Y empiezo con, let me see, the first one. ¿Quién me sale al inicio? Ay, no, yo no. Edenilson me sale al inicio. Edenilson y luego Jorge. Edenilson. Pick one of the numbers from one to nine. Seven. Seven. 
Okay, I have a headache. Expresemos el deseo en presente. I have a headache. I have. Ah, pero el, redactemos. I wish had a headache. Desearía tener un dolor de cabeza. ¿O qué desearíamos, clase? Que no me doliera. Ah, entonces, ¿qué le agregamos sí. para que se haga negativo? I wish. Uh, not. I didn't. D I did. I wish I, did. I didn't I wish. have. I wish I didn't I have. A headache, exacto. Ahí tenemos que I tenerse wish. cuidado. Uh -huh. I wish I didn't, didn't have a have. headache. Sí, porque si estoy deseando tener siempre dolor de cabeza, I wish I had, desearía tener, no. I wish I didn't have a headache. There we go, muy bien. Jorge, go ahead, please. Pick one of the numbers. Luego sigue Rita. Zero. Which one? <laughs> Which number? Nine, please. Let me see. Nine. It's hot today. ¿Cuál sería nuestro deseo en el presente? It's hot today. I, I wish, wish I wish I wish ¿Cuál es el verbo en esa oración? ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Cuál es el verbo en la oración? What is the verb in that sentence? Está en forma corta el verbo, forma contractada. Es es el verbo to be, is. Entonces, ¿cómo lo redactamos, Jorge? El pasado del verbo to be. Word. Muy Word. bien, Rita. I wish. ¿Y será que seguimos deseando que estuviese eh, el clima caliente ahora o no? Entonces, tiene que ser We're en negativo. Ah, today. muy bien. So, one more time, Jorge. I wish. I wish. It. It's wearing hot today. It's wearing hot today. That's okay. Muy bien. There we go. Okay. Read that. So number one. Okay, number one is for you. I don't know oh, how to dance. I don't know. I don't dance. know how to dance. Yes. I wish. I wish word mm, ay no sé cómo se pronuncia mm, vale. Rita, ¿cuál es el verbo en la oración? No, I no. Know. it's no, but mm -hmm. uh, it's past. New, new, uh -huh. new. Uh, I wish new how I to how dance. to dance. Yeah. Pero ahí me hace Bien. falta un sujeto. I wish sí. es mi primera expresión. Luego, I knew. I wish. I knew. I knew how to dance. There we go. Excellent job. Muy buen trabajo. ¿Quién más quiere probar? Oh, Rita, ahí dije alguien. Se lo dejo a Rita ahorita. Pick one of your classmates. Y Gustavo. Ok, Gustavo. I'm still missing five, no, six. Tengo seis todavía. Gustavo? Three. Ok, this is for you. I'm not rich and famous. Hagamos el deseo para el presente. <laughs> I wish. Uh -huh. uh, where... Rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm fun. famous. Once again, famous. otra vez falta algo. I wish. I wish. I. I wear. Muy bien. I wish I wear. 
rich and famous. and famous. There we and go. Famous. I wish I mm. were rich and famous. There we go. Gustavo, elige alguien más. Pick one of un chico, one of the boys que practiquen también. Quien no ha participado ahora. Alberto. Okay, Alberto. I still have number two, four, five, and six. Ah, and number eight. Pick one of those six. numbers. Six. So this is for you. Okay. I can't whistle. Do you know what is the meaning of that? I wish I could call, call not. And what is whistled? What is the meaning of whistled? I don't know. What silbar. Silbar. Ah, okay. So I can't uh, whistle. Okay, so the, I can't whistle. And I wish call, couldn't whistle. Ah, y será que nuestro deseo es no poder silbar o poder silbar? Oh, okay. Entonces, ah, okay. En este este, I wish could whistle. I wish I could whistle. That's okay. That's all right. Very good job. Alberto, who's next? Este, <laughs> chico or chica? Yeah, uh, it's up to you. It is up to vamos you. A, mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Uh, Carlos. Carlos, go ahead, please. Number two, four, five, four, eight. Sorry, it's not possible for me in the moment. I don't understand the class. You don't I, get it? I, I really don't understand. Why not? If we were practicing this last class, making wishes. You can try. You can try. Puede probar, Carlos. No se preocupe. I know you can do it. Pick one of the numbers. Okay, number five. Number five. Okay, look at the information that we have here. I have to study tonight. Esa es nuestra realidad ahorita. Tengo que estudiar esta noche. I have to study tonight. ¿Cuál sería nuestro deseo? ¿O ¿Qué queremos que no pase esta noche? I wish. Ajá, muy bien. ¿Cuál es el verbo en la oración, Carlos? Study. I wish. Studio. Ah, pero tenemos un verbo antes de study. El verbo principal es have. ¿Cuál es nuestro have. deseo? I wish I have. I wish I had to study tonight. No, I wish have to study tonight. Ok. Vaya clase, miren. ¿Cuál es nuestro deseo? ¿Tener que estudiar en la noche o no tener que estudiar esta noche? ¿Qué será lo que estaríamos no tener. diciendo? No tener que estudiar. Entonces, ¿en ¿cuál de mis verbos va a ir en negativo? Have or study. Have. Have, muy bien. O didn't have. Vamos, Carlos. Didn't have. I wish. I wish didn't have studied. To, tonight. Tonight. Ok, there we go. Muy bien. Así quedó redactado. Ok, I wish I didn't have to study tonight. Y dejemos estos tres para después. Le vuelvo a preguntar, ¿cómo sienten la estructura? ¿Está claro cómo expresamos deseos? Miren el ejemplo de tengo dolor de cabeza. Obviamente mi deseo no es desearía tener dolor de cabeza. No, desearía no tenerlo. Tengo que estudiar esta noche. ¿Cuál es mi deseo? Desearía no tener que estudiar esta noche. Ok, siempre también tratar de ver... Eh, ¿Cómo es que voy a expresar mi deseo? Porque si estoy diciendo lo mismo, entonces no salgo dice, de nada. ¿Ok? Dígame. Es que a mí lo que me confunde dice que lo, el verbo en pasado, pero es para algo en futuro. Por decirlo así. No, es en futuro en sí. Es un presente. Sigue siendo presente. Un presente. Tonight. Eh, seguiría siendo, pues. O sea, el deseo lo estamos haciendo para, o sea, ahorita en este momento. No sé si me... Desearía, o sea, en este momento no hacer algo más tarde, por decirlo Ajá, así. exactamente. Lo Pero estoy deseando ahorita. Uh -huh. Ajá. Lo estoy deseando ahorita, ¿ya? Que va a pasar en la noche, pero el deseo es expresado ahorita. Yo lo estoy expresando ahorita. ¿Ok? I don't know. Vamos a ver un repaso también de los verbos en 
pasado. Verbs in past. Que nos van a servir mucho para el siguiente tema que es el presente perfecto. ¿No? En... I am going to ask for some volunteers. Vamos, reading practice. Vamos a leer ahorita. I need three volunteers. Lectura comprensiva. Vamos ahorita. Okay, look. I have a short test. Text. Un texto corto. Uh, Gaby. Empecemos con Gaby. Luego de Nilsson. Y me falta alguien para el último párrafo. Mm. Yesterday, Debbie had a job interview. Mm -hmm. She went downtown to the company. Mm -hmm. The interview was for an accounting job. Debbie graduated university three months ago. Okay. ¿De quién estamos hablando? Debbie. Debbie. Okay. This is about Debbie. She had a job interview. She went downtown to the company. The interview was for an accounting job. And what extra information do we have? That she graduated, graduated three university. months ago. Very good job. And then Nilsson, continue. Excellent, Gary. Her interview was at 10 a.m. She woke up at 7 a.m. and left her house before 8 a.m. She waited for the bus, but it was late. She was very worried because she didn't want to be late for the interview. She tried to phone the company to warn them, but her phone battery was dead. Was dead. Excellent. Who can continue? Yeah. Okay, go please. When the bus arrived, it was almost 9 a.m. Then the bus was slow because there were many other cars. The bus finally arrived at Debbie's stop at 9.45 a.m. A.m. Very good. Who wants to continue? I'm still missing these two paragraphs, the paragraphs. Practice. Just two more balls. Mm -hmm. Go, please. Continue. David, David ran from the bus stop to the office building. When the cheese entered, entered, she saw entered. When she entered, when she entered, she saw a sign that said the company was on the 24 floor, the eleva elevator ride to almost five minutes because many people stopped at different floors. Floors, very good. She Lower. entered. The bear was entered in pasado, entered. Very good job. Who wants to finish? When Debbie practice your speaking. You're reading as well. When Debbie, when Debbie arrived at a recession, it was 9058. Yeah. She was in the time. I am here to see the Mr. Lewis and say the Debbie. The recession is check her book and replay. Yes, replied. She's not her, she's she's is not here today. What is your name, please? My name is David Lex Lexon. Lexon. Sorry, Debbie, but your appointment is tomorrow. Debbie said her agent is what well true. She's what well there on the ground. On the day. ground day agenda. Okay, let me read that real quick for you. Vamos a ver otra vez les leo. This is about Debbie. Se llama una historia de Debbie. Yesterday, Debbie had a job interview for interview. She went downtown to the company. The interview was for an accounting job. Debbie graduated university three months ago. Her interview was at 10 a.m. 
she woke up at 7 a.m. and left her house. Let me see. Before 8 a.m., she waited for the bus, but it was late. She was very worried because she didn't, she did not want to be late for the interview. She tried to phone the company to warn them, but her phone battery was dead. When the bus arrived, it was almost 9 a.m. Then the bus was slow because there were so many other cars. The bus finally arrived at Dave's stop at 9.45 a.m. Debbie ran from the bus stop to the office building. When she entered, she saw a sign that said the company was on the 24th floor. The elevator ride took almost five minutes, five minutes because many people stopped at different floors. When Debbie arrived at reception, it was 9.58. She was in time. I am here to see Mrs. Lewis, said Debbie. The receptionist checked her book and replied, she is not here today. What is your name, please? My name is Debbie Groupson. Sorry, Debbie, but your appointment is tomorrow. Debbie checked her agenda. It was true. She was there on the wrong day, okay? And that's it. What is your opinion about this? ¿Qué opinan de Debbie? Has this happened before to you or not? Have you ever been in the wrong day for an appointment or any other type of activities? ¿Ya les ha pasado esto? Or what is your opinion about Debbie? Speak in practice. ¿Qué opinan de Debbie lo que le pasó? Uh -huh. Did you get what we read? Debbie is no, uh, how do you say revisar? Revisar, okay. No, revisar. Ah, checked. She didn't check. Checked the agent in the uh, morning. She didn't, right? When I signed the house. Okay, there we go. She didn't check the correct date. No revisó la fecha correcta, right. Okay, I have some questions for you. And these are very easy questions. What is your opinion about this one, class? Díganme sobre eh, esas cuatro preguntas. Number one. Okay, aquí vamos. Question number one. What time was Debbie's interview? Clase? 10 a.m., 9 a.m., 7 or 8 a.m.? 10. Yeah. It was at 10 a.m. Deme la respuesta completa, chicos. What time was Debbie's interview? Or interview? Mm. She was. She was or it was? It was. It was at. Debbie's interview 10 a.m. Okay, or oh, Debbie's interview at was at 10 a.m. At 9 or 10, 10 a.m. Muy bien. Question number two. Janina. Was the bus slow or fast? The. Um, the bus and the bus uh, slow. Why? ¿Por qué estaba. Muy lento el bus. Why was it slow? Was a... ¿Quién se acuerda? Why was the bus slow? Was slow, no me acuerdo. Ajá, esa es comprensión lectora, chicos. <coughs> Why was the bus slow? Because there were so many no cars. Había en otros carros. There were some other cars. Lupita, number three is for you. 
what floor of the building was the interview? Vamos a ver si le prestaron atención al texto. What floor of the building was the interview? 24, 5, 7, or 3. ¿En qué piso era la entrevista de David? In 24. 24th. That's all right. Last one. What happened at the end of the history? Esto sí lo recuerdan. ¿Qué pasó al final, Glenda? Debbie was early for her job interview. Debbie was late for her, her job interview. Debbie arrived on the wrong day for her job interview. Or Debbie arrived at the wrong time for her job interview. I don't remember. Ajá, ¿qué pasó? Debbie, Debbie <laughs> arrived on the wrong day for her. Creo yo. Her, her. <laughs> El tercero. Yeah, number three, that's the correct one. Bien, clase. Vaya, si se fijan, he traído diferentes ejercicios ahora. ¿Para qué? Para que ustedes apliquen la gramática en un contexto diferente. Menciónenme tres verbos en pasado que vimos en el texto. Tres nada más, at least three. Arrive. Now. Arrive. Okay. New. 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 Uh -huh. Stop. Stopped. Went. Ajá, uh -huh, went. Was. Was. Ok. Estamos bien. Ok, last practice. Vamos a ir en grupo. Si lo voy a poner a repasar, lo más difícil, creo yo. Irregular verbs. Verbos irregulares. A ver qué tal está. Let me send one of the links. Los envío en grupos. Van a WhatsApp. Abren el enlace y uno de ustedes proyecta. El ejercicio. Speaking practice, verbs in the simple past. What type of verbs? Irregular verbs. Quiero ver cómo andan con los verbos irregulares. Ok. Here we go. Sí, hay que ir evaluando un poquito más porque tienen que hablar mucho, mucho más. Ok, here we go. Five minutes to practice and then we come back and we check the correct answers. Is it clear what we are going to do? ¿Sí está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Okay. Just give me one second. Okay, ahí está. Váyanse a WhatsApp. Ahí está su link ahorita. Y practiquemos. Five minutes to practice. Go, please. I know you can do it. This is just a practice. Here we go. Thank you, Samuel. De mucha ayuda eso también. Excelente. Okay, Lipita, Alberto, Ivania, and Jani, go with your classmates. Okay, teacher, sorry. Don't worry. Diana. Yeah. Vaya. Entonces, a elegir uno, y vamos a hacer el orden. El uno. O lo hacemos aquí. En Me el... sale. Become. Become. Hacer... Entonces, ¿cuál es el? Ajá, ¿cuál es el pasado? El pasado. Pasado. Mm. Pasado es. Y. Que no es lo mismo. Pero que no. Become. Sí, que no que ver. El sí. pasado es become. Sí, yo no me acuerdo que cambió una letra, no sé si es A. Become. Become. Back, yeah. Become. Became. Became. Very good. Became. Became. Yes. Became. Solo cambia una letra. Muy bien. Ajá. 
Es que me acordaba, pero no me acuerdo. Pueden hacerlo con su, con su teclado, es más rápido. Became. Sí, porque el mío está cargando el 40%. Mm -hmm. Me he equivocado con él. Became. V-E-C-A. Así está. Ya está. Uh. That's right. Ya está bien. Está bien. Yes. Ah, ok. Bye, next one. Nah, el segundo, ¿dónde está el todo? No importa. No Vayan a sentar Cualquiera. Ah, ok. B, 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 Acuérdense que todo eso son irregulares, no llevan ED al final. Todos son irregulares. True. Drone. Acuérdense, ¿cuál es el pasado? Draw. Dibujar. Dibujar. En past. Draw. D R O W Dre con E. No, me tiró. B. Va. Y ahora. Aquí. Cuatro. Aquí está. Drink. Drink one drum. 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 What is the past? What is the past of the teach? Be there. Mm. Mm. No sé, teacher. <laughs> well, begin. What is the past? Excellent. Begin. Oh, my. Art. So. Art. Do you want to take it? Let's. Permitir. Let. Oh. <laughs> Led. Ah. Lo, lo mismo. Yes, it's the same. How about that one? Cut. ¿Cuál es el pasado de cut? Yes, the same. There we go. No. Cut, cut, cut. No, no, no. Me metí a cargo de fondo. Con la garra, Tienen que teclear todas las, las letras para que pagan. Ah, mm. no solo la U. Ah, sí. oh excelente. Foul. Foul. <laughs> Sería. What is the path? Ay, no me acuerdo ese. Oh. Ay, no me acuerdo. Uh, es, eso cut, es como. Cut. Cut. Ay, me pasé a otra, lo siento. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. A ver. Cut. Choose. 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 There we go. No. Ay, teacher, no. Es tan amigable este, este es que ejercicio. Para, para ver cómo estamos con los verbos en pasado. Oh, yo ahora pago tu finish. Casi te lo Ajá. Así es. No. Pro. Es la O. H. O. No. O. H. O. O. 
You. So, G. So, which? T. Mm -hmm. Hacker, did you finish? Lupita and Glenda terminaron. Ahorita estamos. Don't worry. Vamos a la sala principal. Time mm. is over. Okay. Okay. Esperemos a los compañeros Glenda. forma más fácil de que me aprenda los verbos. He siempre he tenido ese mega problema. But don't worry, vamos a, saben que vamos a empezar con este grupo de verbos que les puse, se los voy a pedir para que ustedes investiguen y los traigan mañana en el simple past. Porque estamos a punto de meternos al tema el pasado perfecto y ahí es otro grupo de verbos que tenemos que ver. Entonces quería ver cómo estaban con el simple past. Ya vi que les es fácil pronunciarlos, leerlos y recordar los verbos regulares, pero con los irregulares. Mmm, quizás un 50% de la clase sí recuerda unos cuantos y el otro 50% no, teacher, ni idea. No sé qué estoy haciendo acá, ¿ok? Be honest, un minuto más antes que nos vayamos. ¿Cómo se sienten con los verbos irregulares en pasado? Fácil, Más o menos familiarizados. Difficult. Están un poco familiarizados, tienen la idea muy bien, pero les hace falta a veces una letra o cambiar algo. No es tan difícil, vamos de a... Sí, es de, es de repasar porque no hay otra forma más que memorizar los verbos. Veía que Alberto usaba una técnica y me gusta, lo dicen presente, lo dicen pasado simple y luego lo dicen pasado participio. Okay. Así tenemos que irnos memorizando las listas y luego usarlos en contexto. Okay. Vamos a continuar mañana con verbos irregulares y nos vamos a meter ya al pasado participio. Que ahí no usamos el pasado simple de los verbos, usamos el pasado participio. Okay. Es otra forma de conjugar los verbos en pasado. But don't worry, tenemos todavía tres clases extra para ese tema, ok thank you class, mañana reviso estos ejercicios, lo vamos a hacer en conjunto ok, preguntas Bye, sobre teacher. los wishes, preguntas si no, mañana um, volvemos con esto ok, thank you see you tomorrow andas prisa Samuel <laughs> bye teacher bien trabajo, andas prisa come on class, bye bye class, take care bye teacher bye bye, bye class and Samuel, bye bye